Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Miller and I am the head of GRE and GMAT instruction here at Target Test Prep. Today we're going to do a really cool video, six tips to improve your GRE quant score. This is a very important video to me as I do so much uh, GRE quant prep with students and I find that students struggle for reasons that I think are incredibly fixable. So I'm excited today to share those tips with you so that you can leave this video feeling as though you have every shot in the world to improve your GRE quant score. Tip number one, GRE quant is not just a math test, okay? Yeah, so are you gonna be leaning on skills that you learned in high school? Of course. Do you need to know the difference of squares formula or the area of a circle or the area of a triangle or the average rate formula? Of course, you need to know all these things, but you have to understand that GRE quant is kind of a reasoning game as well. It's not just hard math. So the first step is yes, learning those skills, but then also learning how to deploy them in a jury like way. You have to get familiar with the tricks or the traps that they're going to set in a jury quantitative comparison question. That means reading all of the given information provided. Look, if they say something is an integer, you have to note that it's an integer because if you don't, there's a good possibility that you'll get that quant comparison wrong. Or if they say n is negative, same deal. They're giving you that stuff for a reason so that you can plug in and deal with it appropriately in the question. Same goes for simplification. In a lot of uh, quant comparison questions, you can simplify both sides of the quant comparison, meaning quantity A and quantity B. These are just a few examples, but the point is it's not just hard math. You can't assume that the way that you're being tested is exactly how you were in high school with these principles. So you have to start to get down the lingo of what's going on in the GRE. And if you can, you'll be in a good spot to improve that quant score. Tip number two, GRE quant questions are actually easier than they appear. This is important because if you're watching this right now and you think about your prep thus far, how many times have you encountered a GRE quant question that has appeared to be very, very difficult, only to find out after applying the right formula that it actually is pretty simple. For example, have you ever encountered a positive negative number property question where there is a ton of variables, but the majority of those variables are raised to an even power, so it's kind of those variables are null and void because you don't know the signs of those variables because when you raise something to an even power, you get a positive number, which effectively means you can kind of forget about the variables that are raised to that even power. Now, why were they presented that way? Because the GRE wants you to see a plethora of variables in front of you and say, oh my gosh, this problem is gonna be very difficult to solve. That's just one example, but the point is you can't allow yourself to get scared or intimidated by the look of a problem. This is a very mental test, anxiety, nerves, it all plays a role. And trust me, the people writing these questions know that. So when you see a question that looks very challenging, take a deep breath, recognize that you're prepared, recognize that you have your concepts and principles down and that you're gonna be able to fight through the problem and really get to the crux of what they're asking. And if you can do that, you're gonna save time on the GRE, you're gonna save accuracy on the GRE, and ultimately, you're gonna get that quant score that you need and deserve. Tip number three, build strong GRE quant foundations first. Remember, there's so much you have to learn for GRE quant, right? We've talked about this in today's video, and I've talked about this in countless videos before. There's just a lot of information, but remember, quant builds on itself. So if you think that you're gonna jump into GRE quant and just do hundreds and hundreds of questions without actually building your foundations, you're gonna find that you have a lot of problems learning and mastering GRE quant. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is start by building your foundations, right? Learn the basics of quantitative comparison questions or 
fill in the blank questions or multiple answer. And furthermore, learn your basic fraction rules, algebra rules, things that bring linear equations together, how to substitute, how to use the combination method. These are just a few examples, but the point is, if you can build these foundations first, as you get to more advanced quant topics, things are going to flow much easier for you. Conversely, if you jump into the advanced stuff without having that foundation, you're going to find that it's really difficult to move forward and you're going to set your studying back because ultimately you're going to have to go back and relearn these things from scratch. Tip number four, avoid careless mistakes. Another common thing we talk about a lot. Careless mistakes can be a GRE score crusher. They can absolutely decimate your score in the quant section. And the reason is simple. If you make a ton of them, you're going to be getting questions wrong that you likely otherwise should be getting correct. So the real question is, if I want to improve my quant score, well, how do I fix these careless errors? To start, try practicing questions without the timer. Yes, the GRE is a timed exam. I get that. But spend some time just focusing on accuracy in your questions. Focus on being careful and deliberate, carefully writing things down, not scribbling things in this manic way where you're going to be unable to read your handwriting as you go through it. And look, as you become more accurate, your timing is just going to organically improve and your propensity to make careless mistakes is going to start to go away. Now, again, also create an error log because in that error log, you're gonna be able to pinpoint where and when you're making careless mistakes. In the target test prep GRE course, we have an error log for quant and verbal, of course. And in that error log, anytime you get a question wrong, you can say what the reason was and one of those is a careless mistake. My point is, if you're starting to see how often you're making careless mistakes and when you're making careless mistakes, you'll be able to fix those issues and ensure that it's not a problem for you moving forward. Tip number five, regularly review GRE math material. This is huge and this is also something we've talked a lot about. Over the course of your GRE studying, you are going to learn so much quant, right? So if you just learn something once and assume that it will be remembered, you are probably wrong. Maybe for a very small portion of the population, but for most of us, you have to review because you're piling concepts on top of concepts on top of concepts, things will be forgotten. So the question is, how do we do a review pretty consistently? Well, there's a couple ways. First and foremost, when you're learning anything GRE quant related, you should be taking notes. I don't care if it's a video course or if it's a written course, I want you taking notes. We tell our students all the time, you need to be an active participant in your learning. If you're just watching a video or reading something without really engaging in it, you're probably gonna forget it, right? So take those notes, put things in your own words, make sure that the stuff you're watching or reading is you know, filtering in so that you understand it later. Now here's the cool thing, you can take those notes and you can convert them to flashcards, which I love. So you take those flashcards and you can bring them anywhere you want and study anytime you want. So the cool thing about this whole idea of review is it doesn't necessarily have to be this big event. You don't have to sit down at your table or your desk and get on your course or open a book to do your review. You have those with you. So if you're in line at a store, you can pull out your flashcards. If you are sitting in a waiting room at an office like a doctor or a dentist, pull out your flashcards. If you have 15 minutes to spare in your lunch break at work, pull out your flashcards. And this way, you can ensure that things stay in front of you and it's not months before you look at material that you've done in the past. And doing so will definitely help increase your quant score. Tip number six, use one resource for GRE quant prep. So think about it. There are a lot of resources out there for GRE prep in general and also GRE quant, right? These resources generally 
some will overlap in what they teach and how they teach, but others won't, right? So if you're jumping from resource to resource, you'll be in a position where you're probably learning things in a slightly different way. And all that's going to do is prolong your prep, lead to confusion, and you know effectively not allow you to increase your quant score. So early on in your preparation, do some research, sign up for some trials. For example, GRE Prep Club is a great place to go to look at student reviews of uh, GRE courses. Read those reviews, find a few courses that you think you will like, and then test them out and then make a decision on which one is right for you. And that way, moving forward from start to finish in your GRE preparation, you'll have one course and you'll be able to learn things in a way that you want and you'll have structure and continuity to what you're learning. And ultimately, it's gonna help you really improve that GRE quant score. So that concludes today's video. I had a blast going through some tips to, of how to improve your GRE quant score. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we'll have more videos coming in the coming weeks. And also, if you have other videos or other content videos that you'd like to see, please leave a comment. We will try our best to get to those because certainly we just want to see everybody succeed here. And I'm looking forward to meeting up with you guys again next week and we'll all talk soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.